guys. So we wanted to do a special edition of the movie review with the groom. Um, we went saw Slasher. <laughs> we did. And I'm we, so happy. We went to see the new Halloween. Um, do you want to give some info? So written and directed by David Gordon Green, Halloween is a 2018 film, a Blumhouse joint, if you will. Blumhouse um, John. Yeah. Um, it's Halloween. And when we all know Michael Myers, but this is, apparently they did the, you know, let's forget about everything except for the original, and let's just take it like Loomis shot him. He got caught, and he got locked up, and some English people are doing a, doing a story about him and they're trying to you know figure out everything with Michael Myers why does he tick why does he do that and they go and visit him at some looks like a medium security place and he's about to get transferred to a maximum security place and you know it is a I don't even know what to say about this movie it is weird because there's been so many Halloween movies it's so it's so hard to forget about all the other ones. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, if you just if you just watch this back to back with the original, I really think it's a quality sequel. I really do. But you know, it goes into the whole, you know, he's getting transferred and the bus crashes and you know, there's a really funny scene with the cops about where they find all the other people on the bus. I really like that. That was funny. But it's you know, it's. <sighs> You know, it crashes, and it's like, oh, Michael Myers is back, and oh my god, it's Halloween, and everything like that, and, you know, that's kind of, uh, it's kind of the... It follows up with where Lori is now, and kind of, like, the direction that her life has gone, and, uh, how she's coping with things, and obviously as she's the victim of, uh, what Michael did to her, she's kept, you know, really well informed of, you know, his treatment and if he's getting transferred anywhere so she's well aware that he's going to be transported somewhere and is obviously and understandably upset about it and we learn a little bit more about her family mainly her daughter and her son-in-law and grandchild so, so well i mean we'll leave it there because it is spoiler free because that's how we roll so like meow <laughs> so what was your favorite part of the movie my favorite part, um, in general, I'd have to say the gore, because that's what I'm here for, let's be real. Um, also, I liked that everything that was shot in the dark, for the most part, was really easy to see. I'm, what, two weeks post-surgery? Yes. Post-eye surgery. So, things are still not clear. They're possibly worse than they were before the surgery, just because it takes time. But it was, like, that's... It, it was easier to see than I had anticipated. Be, you know, being that most of the, the good stuff in the horror movies happens at night or in the dark, I was kind of apprehensive about it. Um, can I throw another like in here? Yes. There's a sassy little boy <laughs> who, who is uh, being babysat, and I freaking loved him. He was so funny, and just like, I loved him so much. He was amazing. I think the movie did a really good job putting like a little comic relief in there mm -hmm. and there were little spot stuff that was funny um for me i just i love the way this movie was scored the score was amazing the, the, score was really good. the sound effects were amazing like the whole audibly this was a really good a really good movie it was so the music went along with what you were feeling, what you were anticipating. The cat is not going to be quiet unless you pick her up. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, it was, you know, it's it's really late. So it was just, it was, I mean, I, I love sl slasher films. So this was like right in my wheelhouse. Halloween is one of the, my least favorite sl slasher films. So I came into this very, you know, mm -hmm. not expecting much, not thinking I was going to like it. But I really enjoyed the movie. I thought it was scored well. I thought the kills were very good. And not only for, like, the gory practical effects that she liked, but I really thought they really showed, like, the ruthlessness and, the, uh, you know, the 
just general chaos that is within Michael Myers, especially the Michael Myers that has been locked up for 40 years in a mental inst institute. You know, it really shows a lot to the institutionalized, you know, just chaos that can occur within a person that gets locked up for that for that long. So I think they, they did a really good job with that, and I think, think they did a really good job with the movie. As long as, you know, because we're, we're people who don't care about the, the canon. I don't care about the... It depends on the franchise. I just, you know, I just, you know, this fran the franchise has been done over and overlapped and overdid so many times. H2O, Season of the Witch. There's a ton of stuff that doesn't make sense in this fr franchise. So who cares that some stuff doesn't make sense about this movie? Just standalone, I think it was a good movie. But there were some things that we didn't like. Well, they did touch upon that when they said that the movie was coming out, was that they were going to kind of like, nah, everything from one, like after one, they did the we're same... not even going to address. So, I mean, it's not like it was a big surprise. They did the same thing that X-Men did. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, you know those three movies we made? Yeah. Nope. So. So what did you not like? Uh, all right. So the slasher genre is not, it's probably my least favorite genre. Um, so, I didn't have, like, super high expectations. When it comes to Halloween, Season of the Witch, number three, is my jam. And then I guess it would be the first one. Just because that was one of the first horror movies I ever saw. It was, like, Phantasm Scanners Halloween. So, yes, I enjoy it, but it's not, like, my favorite thing in the world. So, being that it's not my favorite thing in the world, you really gotta keep me engaged. It seemed like there was a little bit of issue with the pacing, there was a lot of stuff that they could have left out. This was what you said, it was like two hours. Yeah, it was a little over two hours. I can do 90 minutes, I have a tiny bladder, and I'm just sitting there like, oh my god, why is this taking so long? <laughs> just get to it, just get to it, I have to pee, just get to it. Maybe the pacing was off, maybe I drank more of that soda than I should have within like the first 10 minutes of the movie but still like you gotta keep me engaged I felt like the with the gore because I do enjoy it so much it did keep me engaged but it kind of seemed like it was spaced out a little farther than is appropriate for my ADD attention span <laughs> um I have a big gripe I had it with the first Halloween and I have it with this Halloween. Oh, God. Who taught Michael Myers how to drive? Because he's been locked up since he was six, and then he got out, and he was driving, and then they locked him back up, and then he gets out this time, and he was freaking driving again. All right. When you're learning how to drive, you're going to be hard stopping and taking, like, the slowest turn possible, and you can't just have him, like, da-dun, da-dun, with his blinker on the whole time or he doesn't know how to parallel park or he doesn't know how to shift gears if he's in a stick shift really minor thing but the whole time i'm like no 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 yeah, but did they ever actually show him driving or was this yeah it was, it was assumed that he no was no driving. no he drove when he went to that gas station or repair shop or whatever that the reporters were in oh yeah and he gets out of the car and i'm like you drove here how did you drive here who taught you how to drive? Wow. It's just annoying, and then I fixated on it. And then I had wow. to pee. So. Wow. So, what I didn't like about it is so much significantly less aggressive. Trivial. Trivial um, and aggressive. No, oh, oh, no, oh, no. It is trivial. It okay. is definitely trivial. I hated that the young actress in this kept referring to her as grandmother. That was annoying. That cut through me like a knife. Have you called grandmother? She it's, was, oh my god. It was so bad. You never watched Bates Motel with me, did you? No, no, I didn't. When Norman's like, mother, mother, and it's just like, goes through you. But everyone referred to her like, yes, this is grandmother. I'm grandmother. Where is grandmother? Did you call grandmother? Grandmother, where is my Activia? <laughs> <laughs> that was the other thing I didn't like. They really missed a good opportunity where she was eating breakfast. There was like a little bowl, a little oatmeal. I could put a little Activia there in the corner. No. Nope. You know? But I, uh, the, the other thing I did, the other thing I really didn't like was, 
I don't know if it's something I didn't like or it's something just I just really thought that they they gotta cut out a lot of the teenage bullshit with her boyfriend and who oh, cheated on me. It didn't go it anywhere. It didn't. It had nothing to do with the centralized plot of the movie. Just felt like they threw that in there for whatever. Maybe to humanize her. I think or they threw it in there to set up that scene with the other kid. I know, but you could have just had that scene him, with the other the kid. Scene with him. Yeah. I didn't need to see them at the oh, whatever. No. So, so now it comes down to the nitty gritty. Okay. What do you give it? How many stars out of five? Mm, I give it I'm gonna give it like a 2.5 out of 5 just because it was really hard don't make faces it was really hard for me personally to stay engaged in it because there was so much extra stuff that really didn't need to be there and they could have gotten to like the good stuff that I really wanted to see but that's me that's my opinion like I said like slashers aren't necessarily my yeah. thing but gore is my thing and I just wanted to get from like one death to another death to another death mm -hmm. and Chain more kill. sassy kid because he was amazing Chain kill the whole movie just kill everything um, for except me, for that kid for me I, I give it a 4 out of 5 I thought it was a solid movie I thought that the kills were good um, the setup was good I liked how that they kind of didn't do your traditional like let's flash back to your to the childhood that was traumatized. Well, they and did, they did. They did, they, they yeah, but they didn't do the whole drawn out have a young actor portraying the mom and you know teach him to shoot. I thought we, we were gonna get some crazy flashback thing that lasted like twenty minutes of them like you know of her. She just they did it within other scenes as to kind of uh, go back to it. I thought the ending was phen phenomenal. The last. 15 minutes of this movie is amazing. There's a pretty good... There's a really good ...twist scene. that they threw in there that both... Both oh, of us were just like... I didn't want to... What the fuck? I didn't even want to talk about it. It's so good. Yeah, I, no, we're not talking about oh, it. Oh, it's so good. There it's like is out of a, nowhere. There is a WTF moment in this. Because you will literally say that out loud in the, the, in the, in the, the, the theater... But yeah, I give, I give it a 4 out of 5 because I really enjoy the movie. I am a slasher guy. I do like my slashers. You know, as you all know, my first movie I ever reviewed with her was one of my favorite movies, which is a slasher. So... It's cry underscore wolf. Uh, yeah, cry uh, underscore wolf. <laughs> um, as somebody who's fully sighted, yeah, the close-up, the constant close-up, you know, was, I guess, kind of, you know, it was there kind of annoying but I guess I'm more sensitive to people with sight problems because of you know this one but I it really didn't bug me that much that everything was super up close I don't need to see a panoramic pullback shot of the neighborhood I know what a neighborhood looks like I know what little tiny houses on a street together look like I don't need all that like get to the action get to the thing get to the things get to the all the great stuff so I feel like as someone yeah. that is visually impaired I really appreciated the tight shots. Like, it didn't even occur to me that there were a lot of tight shots. I was just like, oh, man, I can see that. Like, I can see the expression that guy's making. Not like, I'm getting irritated of seeing the expression that guy's making. Because I, honestly, if I could see a long shot, I probably wouldn't be able to really appreciate it that much at this point. But, yeah. This is also to prove that I don't turn into the cat during the live stream. There are two different people. Yes. There's a rumor there. So, okay, get that. obviously, this movie is out in theaters right now, so you should go check it out if you feel so inclined. Have you seen the movie yet? Let us know down in the comments down below, or you could tweet at us. Um, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Uh, hit the bell for all notifications of upcoming live streams and further uploads. Um, lots of ums. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews and Instagram and Twitter at Reanimator. And you can also find my uh, reviews in podcast form via the Farsighted Network. Please also check out their other creators. Very, very good and awesome content. You can find me on Twitch, do my thing, uh, at Repeat Ray Animator. You can also find me on Twitter 
at Repeat Groom Ray. Um, we actually saw this movie at a movie tavern, which was one just opened up in our area. This was the first time we went there, and I really loved it. Yeah. I thought it was a great, a great, great place, a great atmosphere, great setting. So I have nothing but good stuff to say about them, and I look forward to actually watching more movies at this uh, at this very cool place. It's very awesome. If you have one in the area, definitely check them out. All right. All right. All right. We'll see you all next time. Bye.